I'm Dr. Laura Chamberlain, and I'm an election integrity activist in Chicago since 2003. And I'm here to encourage you to protect your right to vote in the upcoming municipal elections on Tuesday, February 24th, 2015. I am encouraging you to register to vote, to vote, and to be proactive in getting your vote counted correctly. To vote, you must be a U.S. citizen 18 years old or older on or before Election Day and have lived at your present address at least 30 days prior to the Election Day, which is February 24th. The first way to protect your vote is to check your voter registration and polling place today. The deadline is January 27th to register to vote change your address or correct any errors on your registration easily online by going to www.chicagoelections.com and clicking on the voting tab and then register to vote. You may also submit a voter, voter registration form by mail by going to your local library or the Driver's License Bureau and picking one up or printing uh, an application up on your computer from the chicagoelections.com and sending it in by mail. Or you can go down in person to the Chicago Board of Elections at 69 West Washington. There will be They will be open this Saturday from 9 till 3. Take at least two pieces of ID with you, at least one which shows your current address. Acceptable forms of ID are driver's license, state ID cards, passport, current utility bills, government checks, bank statements, and um, other government do documents that show your name and address. Remember, Tuesday, January 27th is the deadline for registering to vote easily. If you miss the January 27th deadline, there is a grace period registration and voting. We do not recommend waiting for grace period because during the grace period, you have to go to a centralized location and you have to register to vote and vote at the, on the same day on a very unreliable touchscreen electronic machine. We have studied these touchscreen machines and we found them to be very unreliable, prone to malfunction. So we're very concerned about votes that are cast on these touchscreen electronic machines. Remember for the grace period that you do take two forms of ID with you. From January 28th through February 8th, grace period registration and voting will be only offered at the Chicago Board of Elections at 69 West Washington. From February 9th through February 21st, all 51 early voting sites in Chicago will be open for grace period uh, registration and voting as well. The location and hours can be found at chicagoelections.com. Saturday, February 21st, will be the last day to use grace period registration uh, in the city of Chicago for the municipal elections. Same day registration and voting is not going to be offered this uh, time on February 24th in the Chicago municipal elections. The General Assembly has to pass further legislation for that program to go forward. For all voters, there's only four basic ways to vote. We highly recommend that you choose to go vote on election day at the polling place and choose a paper ballot. Voting on paper it is safer. Paper ballots are the easiest way to vote. You can see all of your choices. You can see if you missed any races. If you make a mistake, you can always ask for another paper ballot. The election judges would be happy to help you with that. And paper ballots can be counted and recounted easily in the event of a recount for your favorite candidates. When you go to vote on election day uh, at the polling place, we do encourage you to take two forms of ID with you because you can be challenged by the poll watchers of candidates that you don't support. They can ask to uh, see that you prove that you are in fact who you say you are. And so the two forms of ID that we talked about before would be very helpful and the voter registration card that you get in the mail from the Chicago Board of Elections will help as well. Uh, the second way to vote on a trusted paper ballot is to request an absentee ballot. You can go to chicagoelections.com, click on the voting tab, and then absentee voting uh, forward slash voting by mail, and download a mail-in uh, application and that you send to the Chicago Board of Elections to get a paper ballot sent to your home where you fill it out in, at the, in the privacy of your own home and you send it back by mail. If you're going to be voting on absentee uh, ballot, please put that on your calendar. Monday, February 23rd, the, the ballot must be postmarked and sent back to 69 West Washington. Um, voters do not need a reason to vote by mail. If mailing your application, you definitely want to send it right back to the uh, Board of, Chicago Board of Elections and not to a candidate's campaign site. 
We are extremely upset with the Chicago for Rahm Emanuel campaign this uh, season because he's sending out um, mail-in ballot applications to voters, and he is asking them to return these uh, applications, or re yes, return these applications to his campaign, to the Chicago for Rahm Emanuel. This is a return envelope that was included in a mailing that we received from a voter. The other thing that we're concerned about is that these uh, mailings are coming with a little designation from the desk of the Secretary of State, Jesse, uh, Jesse White. From the desk of Secretary of State Jesse White. We're really concerned that this is um, unethical to involve Secretary of State's office with a private campaign, candidate's campaign. And in it is a letter from Secretary of State Jesse White encouraging you to vote by mail. And then they have the ma vote by mail application. So you fill it out and you send it to uh, the Rahm Emanuel's campaign and apparently you might get a uh, absentee ballot sent back to you. This vote by mail application has no designation. It doesn't have the Chicago Board of Elections decal. It doesn't have the Chicago Board of Elections uh, email or website or address. This is an official uh, Chicago Board of Election absentee ballot application. It has a decal from the Chicago Board of Election and it has the address where you send it back to. We recommend that you send all applications for absentee ballots back to 69 West Washington to the Chicago Board of Elections and not to the campaign of a candidate. It's just safer. We encourage you to uh, vote on paper. It is safer. So we highly recommend going to vote on the po at the polling place on the day of election, February 24th. We thank you for voting. And if you need more information for, about voting, you can go to chicagoelections.com and the citizen not-for-profit website for the uh, Illinois Ballot Integrity Project. It is www.ballot-integrity.org. Thank you very much.